At the stroke of midnight on New Year's Eve, December is left behind and January takes its place to usher in the new year. Ladies and gentlemen, it's almost midnight. So pucker up your lips, ladies. 20 seconds to go. January has the freshness of new beginnings, but why is it called January? Where did that name come from? That is the question we will answer today. One resolution we can have this year is to understand more and more about the meaning and origin of the words we use every day, so regularly, so flippantly, so casually. What do they mean? We have to regain that childlike simplicity, that relentless questioning in the pursuit of knowledge and understanding. Do you have kids? No, I don't. How come? It's an even longer story. Are you my dad's brother? What's your record for consecutive questions asked? 38. I'm a kid. That's my job. We have to ask why more often. Be curious. Why do we use this or that word? Why January? The new year starts with the month of January, but this wasn't always the case. The names of our months were named by the ancient Romans, but their new year did not start in January. The Romans' new year started in March, which was named after the god of war, Mars. The evidence for this is right before our eyes, and we don't realize it. Take the month September. September is the seventh month in the Roman calendar, not the ninth as it is in ours. September the 7th, October the 8th, November the 9th, December the 10th, and in the Roman calendar, January was the 11th month, and February was the 12th month. That was known as the Julian calendar, named after Julius Caesar, which was named after the salad. No, the salad was named after him, Caesar. It wasn't until the Gregorian calendar, which was commissioned by Pope Gregory XIII in 1582 to correct the errors of the Julian calendar, that January became the month of the new year. Eventually, most Western countries adopted this new calendar, but England and its colonies refused to adopt this new calendar until 1752. Now, the word January is named after the ancient Italian god Janus, or Januarius in Latin. When I say Italian, I actually mean the Romans, but the worship of this god dates back to even before the foundation of the city of Rome in 753 BC. Janus was the god of doors, gateways, transitions, Janua, is Latin for door. Janus was represented by a man with two faces, one looking backward and one looking forward, guarding both the exit and the entrance, or rather, the past and the future. This seems perfectly appropriate to be the month starting the new year, the month of new beginnings. Happy New Year. Now you're wise to the words. If you're resolved to learn just a little more about the words you use every day, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Unlike Janice, I'm not a Two-Face. Because why would I choose to wear this face? Making moves trying to get away from this life I'm living Same old things every day Wanna change this feeling